mentioned, it's getting harder and harder to create new content that is just pre ganged pre-animated. It puts a huge burden on artists uh, to do that. And what we need to do from a technology point of view is provide these new procedural type solutions where you actually have the physics happening as physical simulations. Now, previously, all of this kind of stuff was done either offline or, in fact, some of these techniques have come from the, real, the world of real physics. Things like Navier Stokes equations, Eulerian solutions. So, we're going to see some of these demos today. Okay? So, let's start with the first one. It's uh, showing a uh, what's called ACH or smooth particle hydrodynamics. It came out of astrophysics, actually, used to simulate galaxies. Then it's also been used in offline rendered movies like The Day After Tomorrow, where the ocean simulation uh, is done to that. And what we're seeing today is. Actually, that looks completely realistic. And help the audience understand a little bit what's, what's happening. So, what's happening is. It's like water. So, so what, what you have is all these particles, and then you add rendering techniques to, to basically create the, the effect of it like, being water. Uh, then we move back to the sort of the blue mode, the flower skin switch back, you can actually see what's happening. All of these particles are actually interacting with each other. There are 61,000 of these particles we can easily run with, with our new GPUs that uh, Jensen's hinted at. Uh, we can go up with maybe a million particles, which will create even more realism. Now this is all happening in real time. Yeah. Right? Is Lars here back there driving this thing? It's not a, this is not a video, is it? Let's see some of that spiraling effects. I'm not watching a movie, am I? <laughs> it's very clever. Well, unbelievable. Yeah, for the Australian in the audience, that spiral will go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah, this, 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 this alone would make a good game. This alone would make a good game. I sit here and stand here all day long. Yep. Very exciting. <laughs> now, of course, now tell me something. The thing about physics simulation, of course, is that if I were to put an object in this way, or or if a boat were to to to, uh, to float through, or yeah, you uh, can shadow it right properly. But it would yeah. interact properly. Yeah. All so you, you see the, the, the splashing. You see all of this is happening. It's a simulated experience. It's not a pre canned experience, and that's what makes it interesting. And, and cool. And of course, it's real life. Not to mention beautiful. Right. I mean, how would you how would you capture um, this level of beauty? Uh, without just simulating naturally, I mean, this is this is capturing the, the beauty of the natural Absolutely. world in a way that you simply can't do artistically. And and actually, if people are concerned that this is stuck and constrained to that sort of area, that it's, it's actually not, because it's particle based. It can basically essentially just expand. Wow! <laughs> wow! That's cool. All right.